Welcome back, everyone. Of course, we are no strangers to DIYs here, but sometimes we need a little help when learning a new craft. I kind of feel like I'm learning every day that I'm here, and <laughs> here to show us how we can learn to build like the professionals at the Home Depot is Maria. You are learning, Cam. I feel We're like I learning. am. You're every all time. learning, and I feel like when it's something that you truly love to do and it's yeah. your job, you want to continue your education. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so I went to the Home Depot and I took one of their do-it-yourself workshops oh, and fun. I, look at, I ended up making an adorable s'more station. That is oh, amazing. Yes, and I know that's that. your dream come true because nobody loves a s'more I mean, more than Maria. Yeah. I do love me some s'mores. <laughs> s'mores are pretty tasty. Now listen, what kind of workshops can you find at the Home Depot? Mm, yeah, so this is really great. There's So there's a bunch of different kinds so you can actually do kids workshops, which is so fun because it helps them build confidence. Sure. Yeah. It inspires their creativity and yeah. also Confident. teaches them safety, which yeah. is also great when you're, you know, wanting them to get into that kind sure, of... Sure, get some started. Yeah. Exactly. And then there's also the do-it-yourself workshop. So from, you're learning from experts for things you can do around your house, like tiling your floors, doing fixtures, right. things like that. Amazing. And then there's also the do-it-herself, which, you know, I did. And so, <laughs> yeah, so dem there's demo and there's hands-on work. And of course, it helps you build your confidence and you can learn about things that you can yeah. do around your house as well. And I also love that they also know things that are on trend. So, oh, yeah. yeah, that's right. And all exactly. you need to do is actually go to homedepot.com and just like we have here. So what you want to do is you want to uh, find your location and what will come up are all of the workshops that are there that you can have a, near you. So you can see installing a smoke alarm. So things around your house and there's also seasonal so ones. Good. So the witch, the Halloween, things like that that are seasonal for fall. This is just like our show. Exactly. <laughs> it's great. It's perfect for our viewers who right. when you're watching our show, you want to go there and utilize the information we tell you and sure. that they tell you. And just register. You put it like you saw there. Just put in yeah. your name and you can register for the class. And well, as easy as that. I love the Home Depot. I mean, seriously, I could spend hours, hours there. It's one of my hours. favorite stores in the world. I could spend like the whole day. It's so fun. Um, <laughs> okay, we're all a work in progress. Yes. Like we were saying, we all want to learn and get better with everything we do every single day. So what did you feel like you needed to improve on? Which skills were you interested in improving on when you went to do so, a do-it-yourself class? building. I really wanted to work on building. Great. Like I feel there's something so empower empowering about having something just from scratch, pieces sure. of wood, and creating something so out of nothing and really just hammering and using power tools, things like that. And yeah. that was really what I wanted to be Feels better. Feels good. I, I agree with you. I strong just talking about I it. I know. I can see your okay. whole posture change talking <laughs> about it. So good. So you went to the workshop. You went to the s'mores station do-it-herself yes, workshop. Did. There was an actual s'mores station. We learned how I to make one. This. Isn't that crazy? I it's mean, so fun. I am excited about this for many different <laughs> reasons. I yes. love it. Yeah, so tell us about it. Okay, so what I did um, at the Home Depot is yeah. they actually had everything out for me, which is so cool. And you can see I'm doing hands-on work. So something I learned I really need to perfect is my hammering skills. And this was the perfect craft for that because it's a lot of step and repeat. So, you know, they always say, measure twice, cut once. Yes. So lots of measuring, lots of hammering. And because with me, with my hammer, I usually hold it really close up to the top because yeah. I'm like, oh, it's, it's getting little, like, you know, I'm kind of doing these You're little things. You're more accurate with I it like that, so, right? But, but I, it was really, you can see I'm so excited. When I was done, I was holding the hammer at the end because I realized it gives you more leverage, it works better, right. and I'm not doing all these little taps. I'm no, doing. yeah. And I think it just comes from, like, I try to be so precise, but that was learning the technique that sure. I got to practice over and over again, and the s'more station was so great to learn and perfect that Your skill. hammering. And exactly. I see, I see we've come out and you. this is not how it was when you ended, you stained this. So like you said, you can lose use hours at, at the Home Depot. That's I made my way into the paint department <laughs> and uh, talked to the people I there, the experts there, stain. and found that I could stain this. I love staining wood. There's something so satisfying oh, about the stain of a wood. It's so, so rich true. and beautiful. And that's all this is, is a stain. So you saw it was raw wood yep. that uh, we used. And so what you want to do once you have this, because this is a s'more station, I fully intend on putting lots of marshmallows and chocolate in here. So I want to make it safe for food. Sure. So what they had recommended is that I seal it with shellac. And it's just basically like a resin coating. Okay. So all you do 
here, you know, safety first, so I'll put so on So after gloves. you stain, sure. you shellac. After you stain, and let With it dry, and shellac. then you can shellac. And that's really okay. all you need to do to make it safe. And the thing about shellac, too, is that you want to do a couple coatings of it, too. So do a coating, let it dry, and uh, once it is, you know, a few coatings, and it looks, see, it already looks oh. nice and shiny. Uh, you can do Why this. Why is this so satisfying? It's, I, mean, I feel the same way. It's just wonderful. I could do this all day long. And it's, that will it's make like, it... It's like a little meditation. It, it really is. is. And that, that prevents, the, the shellac helps prevent the stain from getting into the food, exactly, right? It, it keeps exactly, exactly. It, it will seal uh, it in. And they make shellacs in different colors, too, so sure. you could get a twofer. But uh, I, you know, really wanted to control the color that I had for my stain. And, of course, when you put food in there, you want it to be completely dried. Sure. So you could set it, set it out in the sun and, you know, let it dry, you know, a day or two before you're actually going to use it. And then you're set to go. This is awesome, Way Maria. to go. And this is only the beginning. We're going to see more of this. Oh, yes. Yeah, join us tomorrow for Maria's full s'more station DIY. And, of course, go to homedepot.com to learn more about their fantastic workshops. Check it out.